Hi all, welcome back to another video. Today we will be talking about the reporting inside the Odo 16 CRM module. Apart from achieving sales and attaining more, Odo CRM allows you to have an analytical report of the processes taking place in the CRM module. These reports will help you in making future decisions regarding the management of customers. Also, the status of the sales team, salesperson, partnership and forecasted opportunities are obtained through this. Now, let's take a look inside the CRM reporting. Now, here you have the CRM module and here we can see the menu which is the reporting. Click on that. Here we have a lot of sub menus which are forecast, pipeline, leads, activities and partnership. So currently we'll be talking about the forecast. Now if you want to view the analytical report of the upcoming closings and expected closings based on the months, click on the forecast option. Okay. Now here you can see all the opportunities organized by the expected closing dates. Okay. Opportunities forecasted to be closing in the upcoming months can be viewed in the Kanban state here. Okay. Now, the opportunities that doesn't specify the expected closing dates are categorized under the undefined. So here it's filtered. I'm removing the filtered ones. Okay. Now next to the stage, you can see 340k, 77,000, uh, 67,000 and all. What is this? This is nothing but the prorated revenue. Now if you just open any of the Kanban view here. Now let's open one and see. Okay, just take a look at the open space design which comes under the stage none. Here you can see an amount which is 4950. Just open that opportunity and here you can see a different rate which is 11,000. So this is the expected revenue and the one which we saw right before is the procasted revenue. Okay, so if you just open one, this is the view which we get. So here you can see the expected revenue and the probability. Okay. So this is the probability for this to become an opportunity. So probability is uh, automatically calculated. And if you want to change it, you can just click on this field and change it by your wish. And here we have the customer email, phone number, salesperson, expected closing date, tags and all. Now here you can see add a property, which is a new feature. By clicking on add a property, you can easily add a new field to this form view. And also from here, you can choose the data type or what kind of a field it should be from here. Okay. So here we have the internal notes, the extra information where we have the contact information, marketing information, as well as the tracking information. And this is the information of the assigned partner. Okay, now here we have the new quotation, new rental, one lost and enriched. If you want to create, convert it to a new quotation, you can click here. A new rental, you can click here. And if it's one, mark it as one. If it's lost, mark as lost. And if you want to enrich opportunity, you can do that as well. So let's go back. Now let's see the filters. Now you have different filters here, right? So if you want to see the upcoming closings, that will be shown. If you want your pipeline, this is your pipeline. Okay. Now, if you want unassigned ones, my assigned partners, open opportunities. We have these much open opportunities. Now, if you just click on one and if you want to make it as one state, just click on one. A ribbon has come, which is the one state. Okay, going back and that's not now an op open opportunity. We have 100 messages here. So if you want to see any 100 messages, you can click this. Currently we have none. And here is the filter based on date. If you want to filter based on creation date and close date, you can do that. And here we have the one state. All the one opportunities can be seen and the lost ones can be seen here. Okay. And if you have archived any of these opportunities, 
that can be viewed here. These are the archived ones because they are lost. Okay. And if you want to add any custom filter, just click on add custom filter, specify the filter and apply. Next, we have the group by option. If you want to group it based on salesperson, you can do that. Just click on salesperson. Okay. So here you can see the two salesperson, which is Mark Demo and Michelle Edmin and their opportunities. Okay. And if you want to group it based on sales team, sales, pre-sales and all our sales team. Okay. That can be done. Stages. That is also possible, which is new qualified proposition one and all. Now you have the assigned partner, city, based on cities, you can see it. See, these are all based on cities. Okay. Now, if you want to be, see it based on country, you can do that. You can see all the countries here. Right. Now, under the group by, we have the lost reason. That is, if uh, opportunity is lost, you have to specify a reason also. Okay. So, that can be grouped by here. And if you want to group it by company, campaign, medium, source. Okay. All these can, can be seen here. Yeah? And here you have the date section again. The expected closing date, creation date and close date. Based on all these three, you can do it from here. And if you want to add any custom group by, you can do that from here. Next, we have the favorites. Okay. So under the favorites, you can save the current search and use it as a default filter. And if you want to import records, you can do that. Link menu in spreadsheet, you can do that. Insert view in article, insert link in article. So this is a new feature in Odo 16. So as you all know, there's a new module called the knowledge module introduced by Odo 16. So these two options are related to that particular module. So let's see how it works. Okay. So insert view in article is nothing but if you want to insert this particular view inside an article. So what is an article? For the ones who don't know, uh, there's a module called knowledge module and inside knowledge module, we can create articles. Okay. So Inside your article, if you want to insert this particular view, you can do that from here. So for the, I'll just click on the graph view. I'll take this pie chart and let's see how to insert this particular pie chart inside the article. So here also you can see we have the insert view in article. Clicking on that and a window pops up and here you can choose the article to which you're going to insert it. So I'm choosing this article. So this is the article. Just scroll down. You can see the view which we have inserted, right? So from here, you can choose the pie chart, line chart, bar chart and all. Okay. So let's go back. So that's how you insert it in the article. Now, if you want to insert link, you also saw something like insert link in article. I'm choosing this. So a link to that particular view can be inserted. So here you can see the link forecast. Okay. Just clicking on that link takes you to this page. Okay. Let's go back. So if you want to add this to dashboard, click on add to my dashboard. Now we have different views here. So one is the graph view. So you have line chart, bar chart and pie chart. Here you have the pivot view and also the list view. So pivot view is kind of a table itself where you have the expected closing dates here and the stages here. Now, if you want to switch the axes, you can do that want to expand the fields, you can do that. And if you want to download this to an Excel SX, you can do that as well. Now, if you want to insert this particular table inside the spreadsheet, click on insert in spreadsheet. I'm choosing the blank spreadsheet and confirming it. You can see that table is inserted in the spreadsheet. Going back to the forecast. Here, let's take the graph view. 
here we have the measures according to the measures we can what modify our graph so i'm choosing exceeding exceeded closing dates expected mrr prorated mrr prorated revenue recurring revenues count so on the basis of measure we can you know change our graphs and also insert this also in the spreadsheet so insert in spreadsheet choose the spreadsheet and here comes the graph so now let's go back here also we have different filters group by and favorites now let's go to the next menu which is the pipeline so pipeline it's basically the graphical representation of pipelines based on different stages here you can see the different stages which is new qualified proposition and one now this is filtered removing the filter you have bar chart line chart pipe chart okay and if you go to line chart you have the cumulative view descending order ascending order removing the cumulative okay and under the bar chart you have stacked view descending order ascending order okay and you have the pivot view here and here also you can see the expected closing date and the stages you can insert this in spreadsheet flip the axis expand all and download the excel sx just same as something which we have seen in the forecast report now you have the list view and the cohort view now you can view it on a daily basis weekly basis monthly basis and yearly basis now if you want to filter it you can do that based on the measures okay so that's the measures there and here also we have filters you can choose the active ones inactive ones which are in one state lost state the dates archived ones and if you want you can add a custom field now here you have the favorites okay so this also can be inserted in article i'm inserting this just scroll down and see that is inserted inside the article okay let's go back and next we have the leads so opening the leads this is the reporting on the leads okay so here you have filters i'm removing that so here you have the lead analysis based on sales teams okay so these colors represents the sales team and here you have the dates which is november september october and all when they are created on okay now here you have the pivot view of the lead analysis so you can see on august 2022 sales team got how much leads resales got how much and the undefined ones got how much now and the total count of lead inside each team can be seen there now you can insert this in spreadsheet just click on confirm that's inserted okay and we have the list view also here you have the list view of all the leads and let's go back to the graph view here you have group by if you want to group by stages you can do that group by medium source okay and group by based on dates can be done here and favorites you can insert view and link in article and if you want you can the link menu in spreadsheet and insert in spreadsheet and here also we have the measures okay now for line and bar what we have is ascending and descending and also cumulative and stacked view okay that's all about lead analysis it is the complete analysis of lead based on sales team or even stages and all can be seen here 
now next we have the activities so you know what activities are right now let's remove the filter here you can see the activities activities can be a discussion a phone call or email or anything okay so this is the analysis of the activities now here you can see the blue color represents the discussions and the other activities comes under the next color which is an orange color okay so if you want to filter it which how many is one lost i think is lost okay for the trailing 12 months completion date archived custom filter these are the filters now here you have the group by option assigned to sales person you have the company based report okay and here under favorites you have the exact same thing which we have seen previously which is save current search link menu in spreadsheet insert view in article and insert link in article also if you want to add it to dashboard we have the feature here now let's see the pivot view so this is the pivot view here we have the completion date and here we have the activity type okay now we have the list here this is the list view of the activities okay activity description activity type and all can be seen here and also the completion date now here also we have filter group by and favorites now let's go to the partnership so reports based on the number of opportunities turnovers and count can be seen here now here we have the graph view alone where we have the line chart pie chart okay so line and pie bar chart we have the ascending and descending order now under filters you have partnership date so you can filter it based on partnership date and also latest preview latest partner review okay and next you have the custom filter we have the group by option here if you want you can group by sales person sales team partner okay now you have the favorites where you can link menu in spreadsheet insert the view and link in article add to dashboard and save current search now let's see the different graphs okay so that's the partnership analysis so these are the main things which comes under reporting of the odo 16 crm module that's all for today's video thanks for watching